Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's day 16. Let's reflect on the importance of empathy and compassion towards one another. At this time, let's extend our hands of sympathy and help to those in need and embody the spirit of charity that defines Ramadan. Let's do more sadaqah. Invite someone to break the fast with you. Invite someone, if possible, to share the sahur with you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Today on the show, we'll delve into the essence of Ramadan as we listen to soul-lifting Quranic recitation and join Nima as she goes shopping. And our sheikh will answer some popular questions about Islam. You don't want to miss our favorite part. Welcome to Iftar with Nima. And if they had believed and feared Allah, then the reward from Allah would have been far better if they only... O you who have believed, say not to Allah's Messenger, Ra'ayna, but say, Unvonna, and listen. And for the disbelievers is a painful... We do not abrogate a verse or cause it to be forgotten, except that we bring forth one better than it or similar to it. Do you not know that Allah is over all things competent? So, welcome to Do's and Don'ts in Ramadan. On this segment, of course, I tell you the things to do and things... One thing is common to terrorism. That is, you show might over the others. You tend to show that you have strength over the others. And uh, many times, Fi sabilillah and the part of Allah, you wafa ilaykum. Allah would definitely repay you. Wa antum la tuzlamun, and you will never be dealt with unjustly. These are the verses of the Quran used for and against the Muslims. And on that note, I will try to quickly point it out here that two persons, two major groups are responsible for terrorism in the world today as it affects Islam. Please note, Islam or the Muslims are not the only ones that have been alleged of terrorism. Countries, colonies, persons, those in power have also been accused of terrorism. But there's need for a way out of it. I will be looking at how Islam tends to handle this situation in this contemporary time. One of the first areas where I allege the world of terrorism is where the Americans come into play to support groups that will terrorize others. You remember the case of the Taliban in the Afghanistan war. America funded the Taliban. And after the war, they stood against the Taliban and a fresh war started. This is a signal of terrorism to a certain extent. However, we will not absolve some extreme, excessive, zealous Muslims from this terrorism at this point in time. There were people who actually loved their religion, but they took it too far. No wonder the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had warned us in one of his sayings. He said, Iyakum wal ghulu, beware of extremism. Beware of extremism. They were zealous and they went too far. Babies were mined. Human beings were killed. Genocide was committed. And this is extreme. Islam would never be a party to such activities. On that note, one very important way to take care of this seemingly sinister uh, activity that is happening in the world today is 
Al-Hiwar, dialogue. Dialogue solves it a lot. We call it Al-Hiwar. Let the two parties, let the warring parties come to round table and discuss. This is the best way to do it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encourages dialogue. It encourages consultation. You discuss it, you talk it out. Everybody lays it bare. Kul ta'ala, you call them, you invite them. Let us discuss this issue. And this is the best way Islam has solving the issue of uh, terrorism. Then extremism. We try as much as possible to educate appropriately. We invite the scholars. We have those who have the knowledge. And we try to educate and correct the abnormalities that the youth have in them. Because if you find out, those who perpetrate terrorism and extremism the more are the youth. So we must take the youth into cognizance when we are making effort at tackling terrorism and extremism with respect to religion. So this is very important and I think this should go a long way in solving the problem in our contemporary time. This is where I'll draw the curtain. Inshallah, I shall be with you in the next episode. We'll be handling and responding to all the questions. I'm still your brother in Islam, Imam Imran Rufai. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the TVC Communications Ramadan Lecture holding right here at our premises in Ikosi, Lagos. The promises to be very informative. We have a very intimidating list of speakers for today's Ramadan Lecture. We'll be teaching you all the contents on Iftar with Nima. So keep it locked here. Welcome. Come here. So you pick from questions one to ten. Question one and ten. So you just pick one. If you get it correctly, we'll give you uh, something. We'll give you a prize. Mm. But if you miss it, are you ready? We'll say Jazakallah khairan. All right. So choose between one and ten. What's your name again, please? Shukran. Okay, Shukran. Any question between one and ten? Which question? Which number do you want? One. Okay. Allah says, with his knowledge, he is more closer to us than our... Should I give you options? Thoughts, heart, jugular vein, and blood. Total silence, ma. No, no side talk, please. Are you ready to speak up? Hold the mic very speak well. Speak up. Yeah. Heart. Are you sure? Final answer. Yes. Final, final. Okay, you got it wrong. So pass the Ekbalo mic Pass the yeah. microphone. You didn't get it? Jazakallah You Thank can you. go and sit down. Yes. Thank you. So the rule is clear. You fail What's one question and you step down. So. Half so. Hmm. You want to answer this question for a bonus mark? Yes. Okay, what's the answer? Her question, did you hear it? Yes. What was the answer? Okay, pick your own question. That one is good. Between one and ten. Now one is out, so pick between two okay. and ten. Yeah. Two. Okay. Question two. What is the virtue of reciting ayah to Kursil before going to bed to sleep? Takes away hunger, option one. Gives you strength, op option two. You are protected from harm till sunrise, option three. You get a house in Janna, option four. Which option? Should I give you the options again? It takes away hunger. Option one, it gives you strength. Option two, you are protected from harm till sunrise. Option three, you get a house in Jannah. Option four, you are protected from, from harm, harm till sunrise. And sunrise. Allah Akbar. Kebir Allah. Reciting Ayatul Kursi is that you'll be protected from harm from that time till until sunrise. sunrise. That's one of the virtues of re uh, reciting Ayatul Kursi. Uh, so, Kebir Allah. Yes, she should stay. You are correct. Uh, pass the microphone, just come and stand here so that you get your gift. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Now she has won 
two packets of uh, boa spaghetti, courtesy of uh, Sheikh. She's also won a thousand. A thousand. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Now she's also got a Quran, courtesy of TVC. She has a, a scarf, also courtesy of TVC. Yes, yeah, she has two packets, two two packets of uh, of pasta. Yes. All right, very quickly. And mayoress, the mayoress is also giving this out too to us. So we promise you generous gift. So this is just the beginning. Allahu Akbar. Allah. Allahu Akbar. All right, thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, so the next candidates. What is your name? It's getting interesting. Zainab. Zainab, salam alaikum. Wa alaikum. So pick any question from 3 to 10. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yeah. Elderly man, Alenshi. So which professor, alayhi salatu wa salam, had control of the gene and was able to walk, talk to animals? Do you know the prophet that had control of the genes and, and could talk to animals? Should I give you options? Maybe to help. Option one, Suleiman, alayhi salam. Option two, perfect silence, please. Dawood alayhi salam. Option three, Yunus alayhi salam. Option four, Musa alayhi salam. Sulaiman. Atekbir. Allahu Akbar. Yeah, she's also won two packs of uh, boa foods. That's the pasta slim. Uh, Say Allahu Akbar. She I mean, don't want to take it on your behalf. A thousand naira. Come and collect your one thousand naira. And also, a gift pack from Mayores. Inside this gift pack is a lot of food items. A lot of food items. Gari, ewa, beans, you name it. You are eating in your house today. Allah Akbar. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, I call somebody to come and help you carry this. Shaking back, Bilali. Okay, T. Shukrabi. T. Talele. T. Zainab. Okay. Okay, we are now down to the masculine, the boys in the house. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Shay, you ready? What's your name? Abdullah. Okay, salam alaikum. Pick from question 4 to 10. We have 4 to 10 left. Number 4. Okay. What does Zamzam mean? The Zamzam, number 1. Should I give you options or you know it? Holy water. 2. Water well. 3. Stop. 4. Drink. What does water. it mean? Hmm? Holy water. Are you sure? Yes. Zamzam is an Arabic term. You might, you might know it for the Zemzem water, but it might mean something else. What does it mean? Holy water. Holy water. Okay, it doesn't mean holy water. Oh. I'll be holy spirit. Yes. So Ibn Abbas um, reported that the Professor Aslam added, May Allah bestow mercy on Ismail's mother. Has she left the Zamzam alone, flowing without trying to control it? Or has she not scooped from that water till her water skin was full? Zamzam would have been a stream flowing on the surface of the earth. Zamzam. Stop, stop. Zamzam means stop. So when the water started springing up, she was saying zam, 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 zam you know, just stop, 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 you know, because she needed so it's an just Arabic little word. Yes. So Jazakum so, Khairan. Pass the mic. Jazakum Law Khairan. Thank you. So I need to spread these questions. I need to do that. Yes, yes, yes. So I, I, would, I would just note the number because they are young ones. So we have, Salam Alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. What is your name? Jamal. Jamal. Okay. Jamal. We have questions, five to ten left, but I'm trying to spread your questions so that it will cover your age because I felt, I felt the other candidates, yes, is mixed up. It's so far. Okay, pick any question, five to ten. Five. I'm supposed to be... Um, she is trying to be motherly. Transparent as possible. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it as uh, I was given. Number five says, what is Azakum? What is Azakum? Should I give you options? Yes. 
food for the people of Hellfire, drink for the people of Hellfire, home for the people of Hellfire, clothes for the people of Hellfire. What does it mean? Home for the people of Hellfire. Is that your last option? Mm. What do you want to think? Perfect silence, please. Please, Jamal. Do you want to hear the options again? Food for the people of Hellfire, drink for the people of Hellfire, home for the people of Hellfire, clothes for the people of Hellfire. Food for the people of Hellfire. Allah Akbar. Kabir Allah. You want yourself, um, you, that's the correct question. Two packets. Like two, packets of, um, two packets of uh, pasta, one Quran. You also have one test B. That's courtesy of TVC. This courtesy of uh, Mayor S. Uh -huh. So that's all. You have uh, two packs of uh, pasta. Did you come you alone? Your elders, uh, Did you come, come alone? This one. Am I alone? All right, the last person. What's your name? Abdulaziz. Abdulaziz. Salam alaikum. So we have six to ten. You can pick any question of your choice. Hmm. Okay. What was the relation between Prophet Musa alayhi salam and Prophet Harun alayhi salam? Were they cousins? Option one. Were they brothers? Were they father and son? Were they friends? You know Prophet Musa? He, he was called to do an assignment along with someone. What relationship did they share? Prophet Arun. Was Prophet Arun Prophet Musa's brother, alayhi salam? Were they cousins? Were they father and son or friends? Are you sure? Final option. Hmm? What option again? Final answer. Three seconds more. One. Prophet two, Arun and Prophet three. Musa were they brothers, cousins, father and son, or friends? <laughs> no. Is this what? What did you say? Are you sure? Are you sure it is brothers? Are you sure? <laughs> okay. I take beer. I take me. This was not transparent. Oh, my mind is so lazy, but I'll let it pass. <laughs> so you have won two packets of pasta from Boa Foods. I will give you my supporters. You know, only <laughs> on, under the condition that you can you can lift. Can you carry it? I'll help us, Eti Yogi. No, inshallah, Jazakum Law Khairan, uh, Sister it's Nima. Jazakum Law Khairan. She, she's kind of like, ah, some of these questions are a bit tough. And she's trying to be motherly, looking for simple answers. But of course, she has, she's uh, restricted, you know, among the numbers that we provided. We thank you. We thank Almighty God for making this to happen. Yes, it's a bigger edition, as uh, Ibrahim said. So we give all thanks and glory to. Almighty Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. And of course, our thanks also go to uh, the CVC communications management and staff for making this to happen. And of course, the organizers of this event, which is uh, CVC communications, Muslim community. Yes, we are Muslim community in CVC, and so we are one. And so we organize this. It's a yearly event, and uh, we thank Almighty Allah for making this a uh, history again.
Today it's been a successful event at the TVC Communications Ramadan Lecture and we'll be showing all the lectures on Iftar with Nima. Today speakers were able to address insecurity in Nigeria, the Islamic way out and the alternative of Islamic banking to our financial issues in Nigeria. I hope that you catch all the lectures on the show on Iftar with Nima. It was indeed enlightening. Please stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.